Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Now let's get into the video. The one, a hundred thousand square foot mega mansion in Bel Air that speculator Niall Nayami wanted to sell for five hundred million dollars has been the subject of years of teasing. But now his intentions are in jeopardy. Here's how Niall Nayami's five hundred million dollar home that made him bankrupt. But before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Number 4. How It All Actually Happened In order to create the lavish mansion in 2018, Naomi, who is well known for his brash demeanor and outrageously ambitious real estate projects, took out an $82.5 million loan from Hanky Capital. That debt has grown to more than $110 million over the previous three years, and Hanky needs its money. The lender recently slapped Naomi with a notice of default on the coveted home, which is thought to be the first stage in the foreclosure process. According to a document acquired by the Times, Hanky might compel the sale of the house if Niami is unable to pay back the debt within 90 days. Aaron Kerman of Aaron Kerman Group at Compass and Rainey and Brandon Williams of Williams and Williams at the Beverly Hills Estates could not be contacted for comment. According to Don Hanky, chairman of Hanky Investment Co., we thought the owner of the one was diverted from the task at hand which is to put the largest and nicest residence in the United States to the market for sale. We anticipate that our efforts will launch the official listing. Naomi has many options such as repaying all or part of the debt or agreeing to an alternative arrangement with the lender to avoid being compelled to sell the home. However, these sales even for valuable properties have happened before. Number 3. Not the first time Naomi has owed money Due to $200 million in outstanding debts, the owner of Beverly Hills renowned Mountain, a 157-acre site that is regarded as the city's best unspoiled area, faced a foreclosure auction in 2019. They attempted to stall the sale by filing for bankruptcy but were unsuccessful, and the property was eventually sold at an auction outside of Pomona courtroom. For Niami, difficult notices are nothing new. He got two in 2020 alone one for a debt of $23.4 million owned on a house at 10701 Bellagio Road in Bel Air that he is now attempting to sell for $59 million, and another for a debt of $10 million owed on a property he owns at 1369 Londonderry Place in the Hollywood Hills. Compass sued him in October for not repaying a $200,000 loan he took out for a different Bel Air house he intended to sell in 2019, according to court documents. He admitted to the Wall Street Journal last year that he had to halt development many times due to a shortage of funding. He said that he had used the proceeds from the sales of other properties to pay for the building. Niami has recently had trouble finding profitable sales. He sold the extravagant Opus Beverly Hills property last year for $38.3 million after offering it for $100 million. Joseph Inglenoff, one of Niami's project financiers, ended up becoming the buyer. Later that year, Inglenoff gained possession of the property, gave it a new name, and sold it for $47 million. Number 2. What are Niami's houses like? Niami attempted to sell a $55 million West Hollywood mansion with a glass-bottomed pool and a cryogenic chamber in 2019, but was unsuccessful. He filed for bankruptcy over the property late last year. All of his residences have strange features, such as wine cellars and animal bones, but the one tops the list for sheer ambition. The property is extravagant even when compared to the enormous estates of Bel Air. The eight-acre estate sits on a promontory property and is dominated by a 100,000 square foot mansion that resembles a future spaceship or the hideout of a Bond villain rather than a house. A jellyfish tank and a frozen room with an ice bar were among the amenities Niami ultimately decided against including, but he still managed to save room for a nightclub. Four-lane bowling alley, 50-seat theater, juice bar, putting green, golf simulator, beauty salon, yoga platform, and five swimming pools. With 4,000 square feet, the main suite alone is larger than the typical American house. Number 1. What goes inside his properties? The house hasn't been put on the market since he first intended to advertise it for $500 million in 2017. This delay has cost him money since the house yearly tax bill is more than $1 million. In a mysterious video he released on Instagram last summer, he said it would be finished in 10 weeks and said, Seven years ago, I had an idea to develop the largest, most costly residence in the metropolitan world. 
the one Bel Air, I carried it out. Niami recently published a Google Forms application asking potential buyers to provide their name, email address, phone number, and proof of funds along with the query. Which influencer did you find out from? The house is still not listed for sale officially, but Niami did recently release the form. According to the Daily Mail, Niami has also received five fines for hosting parties at his residences that broke LA's coronavirus social distance rules, in addition to the unpaid debts. The city issued 15 penalties in total between April and August of last year, with the five breaches accounting for a third of them. With that, we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye.